Facebook, I'm, I'm, I use it, but not as aggressively as some people do. You can have business pages on it. It has its limitations, uh, and it's certainly not a private platform. So you just got to be really careful with a lot of that stuff. One that's really popular now is called Pinterest. Pinterest is a visual mechanism. Pin boarding, essentially, is what it's called. And you're able to put pictures or videos with a little bit of text. And you can constantly put that up. And if people like the pictures, if you, it started mostly women. It's still skewed to, you know, demographically toward the female. But a lot of business people recognize if you got something to show, and, and I don't know what you all do, but you all got business of some sort that you want somebody to see what you do so they buy something from you. I think that that's the basic cycle. <coughs> WordPress.com is free. You can have your name .wordpress.com. <coughs> if you were to do that search that I mentioned, the um, video marketing workshop score 87, one of the 10 first links you'll see is kenenglish.wordpress.com. And that's free. And I'm amazed sometimes at how that indexes for, for things. I think that it's because WordPress.com has millions of users and it's an authority site. So Google finds information relative to and relevant for that. Blogger is put out by Google. Um, it's a free platform. You're able to have a WordPress.com account and a Blogger account. That's two places to put your video in addition to the YouTube that's out there. So you've got at least three to start with. All of which are up through six, are, they're free. If you get into number seven, which you really have to do, you need a domain and you need a hosting service. But you shouldn't have to pay more than $300 a year for that. If you're paying more than that and they're not doing the work for you, you're probably paying too much. But you, somebody's got to do the work and that's where the differences come in. Utilizing Google as a search engine, I think everybody knows that it's there. You enter your keywords in the main section, but th what you want to look for are things that you're interested in. If you don't know how to do something, the best teaching tool right now is YouTube. Because there's somebody that's done a video to show you how it's done. It may not be the best one, and if you're looking for something that's time sensitive, you then you need to look and see when that video was done. So if it was done three years or four years ago, it's not as relevant or valuable as now. Like WordPress, how to use WordPress. Well, if you did if you do that, you're gonna come up with a bunch of them from 2012 and 13. Uh, it's now a whole other fourth generation of that platform. So you need to be careful along those lines. But you don't know how to use Twitter? Just Google how to use Twitter. How to use LinkedIn. If you're a business person, LinkedIn is a great tool. You might consider that. It's become a lot more of a communication platform. This is the basic side of this. Digital pictures with a camera transferred to Animoto, adding text, rendering to YouTube, and distributing via social media. If you were to look for information online and you typed in video marketing statistics or something like that. This is one of the sites. I pulled some information off of that. And as I'm talking, you just look at some of those numbers. Now, they're 2012, 2013. They're, they're into what we're, we're analyzing about a year or so back. Uh, 13 is re very relevant, and they're going to talk about uh, going into 2014. These are numbers that are really amazing when you start to, to recognize it. Now most of you probably don't care about those big numbers. You only care about somebody within a 30 mile radius. But it's the same way. How many people search for doctors and lawyers and bankers and solar installations and things like that? You're not gonna wanna find somebody in Jacksonville that can do what you do. You're gonna wanna find somebody in Daytona or, or Port Orange or uh, Deltona or some of these immediate areas because that's where you're gonna start in. It, it, it's replacing yellow pages, even though I'm amazed that I still see the yellow pages and the books come around, but it, there's always going to be print. It's always going to be print. 25 to 54 year olds share video. We're talking generational stuff here. I'm 66. I admit it. 
don't like to admit it, <laughs> but I look in the mirror and recognize I have to admit it. I like to say I'm 47, but then people say, oh man, you've got a tough life. <laughs> I could say I'm 79 and they say, okay, but the bottom line to it is we are what we are. And that's where I really got into saying, okay, I went up here in my own videos. You know, uh, it's tough to point the camera at yourself, you know, and then look at it afterwards. But I know that what we're going to talk about in the next few minutes and go through here is going to help every one of you if you want to do it. You can take the simple path of, a, of just what I'm going to show you, digital pictures, and you can stop there. Or you can build on it. But you should be able to walk out of here tonight and know how to take pictures of your business, of your home inspector, if you're uh, insurance people, whatever it is, take five pictures, two blocks of text, and a little bit of music, and you got a 30 second commercial that you can have on YouTube. And it's respectable. You don't have to appear in it. You don't have to voice over it. You don't have to hire anybody. You're showing it and telling. You know, so we would go, we're gonna go into Animoto. This is the landing page when you go to it. The first thing that you come up to is sign up, sign up or log in. You know, once you decide that you're gonna do this, and you get a, essentially, a, a, you can have a trial subscription, you can get a free one, it's the same basic. You only want your email address, your password, you can use Facebook to sign in. Um, they're not looking for a lot of information from you. Once you've got that information, you log in with your email address and the password. Or again, you can connect with Facebook. I don't connect with a lot of Facebook stuff because I'm not just not comfortable connecting everything through Facebook. But I do sometimes out of convenience, so it's purely up to you. But this is, and everything you see is on the Wet Animoto site. This is screen capture imaging. These are JPEG files. These are files that I can take and put into a video, you know, which I have done, but it goes too fast for to try to talk about it. So it's easy to use. You don't have to pay for hosting. It's got a lot of royalty-free music. And royalty-free music is really important. You can't take um, Rolling Stones and have them back up your music. You can't take somebody that's current you know, and put it out there. But you can find royalty-free music, which simply means once you acquire it and pay for it, you don't have to pay royalties after that. There are a lot of musical, talented musical people who sell packages for 10 bucks, for 30 bucks, sell hundreds of songs. I've got a lot more music than I'll ever listen to. I've got CDs that I never listen to now because I can't use their music and I'm listening to something else. Instrumental is the best unless you want to tell a story. There's singer-songwriter options in here, and you'll see a little bit more of that as we go along. You, know, you have a personal and a business choice, and all of you are right now with personal, and I would certainly stay with that. The business has enhancements, but it also has a price that goes with it. You can perfect for free, 30-second you know, um, video, 360 pixels. When you hear the term pixels, that's just the resolution of the images. The higher it is, the better it is. It's moving from 360 to 480 in the paid categories up to, this is the low end, 720 is the low end of high definition. Uh, 1020 is, is really sharp stuff. You don't have to do it there. You can certainly do it in 360. You can do it for free. Um, there are some limited elements, but I've never run out of it, and I like their original one that I'm going to show you in a second anyway. You have plenty of music. And once you get the hang of this, you can upload your own MP3s again if you've got some royalty-free music that you'd like to use.